Welcome to WebStyle Press. This is pop-up without JavaScript, without any kind of hidden form element, completely dependent on HTML. No CSS or JavaScript is required. Yes, this is relatively new API in HTML. With this, you do not need CSS or JavaScript to create a pop-up or Moodle or even mobile menu in web page. But of course, a little CSS code will make it look nicer. It's a pop-over. The Popover API provides a standard, consistent, flexible mechanism for displaying Popover content. On top of other page content, Popover content can be controlled declaratively using HTML attributes only. This is how we create a Popover. Very simple and effective, right? Popover, a global attribute that turns an element into a popover element, takes a pop-up state auto or manual as its value. We have got button. Popover target is my popover and my popover is the ID for this div. This is a triggering button. This button will toggle this div via this ID. And we have declared that this div is a popover and we can use auto or manual when it's manual we have to click it to close it or show it when it's auto i can click outside to hide it this is the whole thing okay so attribute pop over pop over target turns a button or input element into a pop over control button takes the id of the pop over element to control as its value. Then we've got pop over target action. Specifies the action to be performed. Hide, show, toggle on the pop over element being controlled by a control button or input. CSS features, it's got backdrop, pseudo element, pop up open, toggle event, newly available pop over API. It was so needed and it's so useful. Okay, I will build a better example to share with you. So we have got the button with pop over target as pop over dash one. It will be the ID of the div. And we have got some classes to make this button look good. This is our button, open pop up. And here is the div with the class overlay with ID pop over one, right? And then pop over with value auto. Here we can use some content like this. This is the popover. Escape, escape, click, click outside. Okay, I have used Bootstrap. If I comment the Bootstrap, it will still work. It doesn't need CSS, right? So bootstrap is for just a little bit styling, right? Okay, so let's use a button here to close this pop-up. So classes are BTN, BTN SM, BTN Danger, BTN Close. Pop over target is this one, pop over one. That is this div and pop over target action will be hide. This is our button and this is the button. If we click this button, this pop over will go away, right? Okay, let's show this content instead of lorem ipsum. Right. Okay. So it's working. Let's give it some styles. So this is pop over this one. Pop over. And this style is coming from user agent style sheet. This is our CSS file. And we give it some background, color, font weight, heading, border radius, border, max width, line height, and top, and some margin. Just usual stuff. Now it looks like this. We can also style its opened state if we need to. And we can also apply backdrop background color with some opacity. Let's style this 
close button between close position absolute right top line height now it's here right okay we can also animate this pop over using some transition and translate properties so pop over open translate zero zero then pop over translate and transition and now we've got a nice transition escape key is also working and basically the starting style is this at starting style starting style css at rule is used to define starting values for properties set on an element that you want to transition from then the element receives its first style update it's an experimental feature chrome and edge will support it right now so using transition and translate css properties we can animate this popover so we used a little bit of css to style this thing but we didn't use any kind of javascript in making this popover and you know you can turn this in right side or left side menu as well no javascript required amazing feature in html just turned a div into popover by using attribute popover and then target it with any other element with popover target id and this is how you can build a beautiful pop-up without javascript everything html and attributes based and popovers created using popover api are always non-modal meaning they do not block the page content see this it is not blocking page content below the rest of the page can be interacted with while the popover is being shown let me explain this CSS used in animation here. This CSS is using custom properties and pseudo classes to define animations and transitions for the popover. This part targets the popover when it's in popover open state, indicating the popover is open. Translate 00, resets and translation transform applied to the popover, positioning it in its natural place without any offset. This CSS is being applied to the popover regardless of its state. It defines its transition for the translate property and other custom properties like overlay and display. Translate 0 minus 30 rem moves the popover 30 rem units upwards from its original position, sliding it out of the view. The transition property specifies that the movement should take minus 7 seconds and ease out, providing a smooth deceleration at the end. And the at the rate starting style sets the initial position of the popover when it is about to enter the popover open state. The popover is initially placed 30 rem units above its final position, ready to be animated into the view. But keep in mind that the at the rate starting style might not be recognized by all browsers yet. Find the code in the video description. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.